Do any of these words describe your game dev project? Disorganized, lost, inefficient, messy. Sometimes your project can get so tangled up that you want to just delete everything and start over. And there is no worse place for lack of organization than your scripts. But by employing this one easy habit when scripting, you can make your life a heck of a lot easier. Let's dive in. At the top of your scripts, you might have a bunch of different things like signals, variables, enumerations. Throwing these different lines of code randomly into your script can make reading and editing things way more difficult. But did you know there's a standard way to organize this code? First, we start with our signals, then our enumerations, followed by our variables. We then organize further by separating our variables by type. Constant variables come first, then export variables, which we'll talk about in step two, public variables, private variables, and then on ready variables. Learn this order and organize the top level of your scripts with it. Your code will go from this mess to this, and you'll know exactly where to add new code and edit old code. You can even add little comment hints to quickly find your spot. This is gonna make your coding life a lot easier, but we still have a mess in the inspector tab. Using the export property for variables is pretty basic, and you probably already use a ton of them in your game. And using a ton can make your inspector tab look like this. Thankfully, we can fix this. First, you can group your export variables using export group. And if you need more organization, you can even add subgroups to your groups. That alone can make a world of difference in finding the variables you need in the inspector. But wait, there's more. You can also change the name of your main category or add additional categories with export category. One more easy trick that can make your variables easier to manage is to add value ranges to your integer or float export variables. This can be done with export range, which sets the minimum, maximum, and step value for your variable. Here I've set a minimum value of zero, max of 100, and a step value of one, meaning my variables will stay between zero and 100 and only increase and decrease by multiples of one. And just with those few lines of code, your inspector tab goes from this to this and becomes a lot easier to manage. All right, guys, if this tutorial was helpful, consider it a like and subscribe to the channel as we're gonna be covering a lot more Thanks to all of my patrons, you too can get access to the project source files by joining my Patreon. You can download everything there and you'll also get early access to my videos and sneak peeks at future tutorials. Thanks for watching and as always, keep creating.